We hear a lot about stem cells these days, but what are they? Where do they come from? And how do they work inside of our bodies? In the last few decades, just mentioning stem cells usually invokes a strong reaction, especially embryonic stem cells. It crosses a moral boundary that our decent society needs to respect. Recent breakthroughs of adult stem cells may have done away with that controversy. Through multiple new therapies, they've been proving themselves to humans. But we're not the only ones that can benefit from this cutting-edge science. This is the journey of a cat, who seems to be the success story doctors hope for, and possibly holds the answer to the most common killer of cats, kidney disease. Kitters was born June of 1998 in Houston, Texas. Adopted at six weeks old, he and his human friend nurtured a special bond throughout the years. It's Mission Cop, Officer Kidders. Together, they relocated to Los Angeles in 2005, where they currently reside with their other animal friends, a turtle, a snake, and a few fish. In September of 2012, Kitters was diagnosed with chronic renal failure, or simply kidney disease. Kidneys play a vital role in our bodies, ridding our blood of toxins through tiny tubes known as nephrons. As kidney disease develops, scar tissue begins to form inside the nephrons, making it more difficult for the kidneys to filter out toxins. Once the kidneys are weakened, the animal becomes vulnerable to a number of other conditions, such as hypertension and anemia, among others. Unfortunately, CRF often goes undiagnosed, given that the symptoms of the disease do not begin to show until two-thirds of the kidneys are damaged. Kidders began showing signs of kidney failure at the age of 15, exhibiting classic symptoms, lack of appetite, excessive thirst, nausea, and lethargy. He was prescribed an unappetizing low-protein diet and ongoing administration of subcutaneous fluids for rehydration. This had been the standard treatment for decades, although it has only been shown to slow the progression of the disease, not reverse it. So is there anything that can help? Dr. Richter and his staff at Montclair Veterinary Hospital think so. In recent years, his hospital, as well as a few others, have begun using stem cells to treat animals with various orthopedic conditions, such as dysplasia and arthritis. The results? A 75% success rate, with noticeable improvements in 30 to 60 days. Which begs the question, if adult stem cells can repair the bones, can it do the same for organs? In October of 2013, Kitters would become one of the first cats to test that theory. He and his human friend made the drive to see Dr. Richter in Oakland for a three-day surgical procedure in hopes of getting Kitters a new leash on life. Let's look at how stem cells work. Life begins with one cell, the fertilized egg, that divides over and over again to make up the body. As our bodies develop, most cells stop dividing and become specialized cells, maintaining specific areas of the body. Once these specialized cells are damaged, they need to be replaced, which is where adult stem cells come in. Stem cells, as you probably know, are, are cells within your body that are able to turn into any other cell in the body. So what's the difference between embryonic and adult stem cells? Embryonic stem cells come from embryos that are three to five days old. These are considered pluripotent, meaning they can be programmed into any type of cell in the body and will divide indefinitely. Adult stem cells are considered multipotent, meaning they are able to become many but not all types of cells. 
Unlike embryonic stem cells, the use of adult stem cells is not considered to be controversial, since they are derived from various tissues of the developed body, most commonly bone marrow and fat. Kidder has some kidney issues. So what we've done is we harvested some fat from his abdomen, so it was a surgical procedure, and we sent that to vet stem in San Diego. And what they do is they isolate the stem cells from that fatty tissue, they concentrate them, and then they send them back to us. And in the case of an animal with kidney disease, what we do is um, we just give them intravenously. And what that's going to do is that's going to begin that healing and rebuilding process. Just as embryonic stem cells helped grow our organs before birth, adult stem cells can grow new tissue and damaged organs as adults. Okay. Good job, kidders. So the nice thing about stem cells, it's a couple of nice things, but, but the biggest one is, is there's, there's really no issue as far as tissue rejection goes because they're kidders' own stem cells, so that's not a problem. And not only that, because we're giving it intravenously, if there is anything else going on in his body beyond the kidneys, it's going to address that as well. So it's a really, really wonderful sort of systemic treatment. Kidder's human friends are hopeful that stem cell therapy will become more common in the coming years, as we saw with the rise of holistic treatments, which Dr. Richter also practices. His rehabilitation center specializes in combining Western and holistic medicine for animals. If we have dogs that are super sore, as you might imagine, asking them to do exercise and rehab therapy, it could be painful. So the obstacle course is all about getting the treat or playing with the ball or whatever it is that makes the individual dog sort of happy. Huge, huge benefit and it's, it's, it's just amazing to watch how quickly they get better. Two weeks later, Kidders received a second injection of stem cells. After 35 days, Kidders was on the mend and his condition began to visibly improve. His human friends noticed his appetite and energy returning with a renewed spirit. The numbers showed improvement as well. Aside from treating animals, stem cells have the ability to reduce and reverse a variety of conditions in humans. In 2009, President Obama signed an executive order that would pave the way for modern day treatments. We will lift the ban on federal funding for promising embryonic stem cell research. Currently, over 60,000 people a year around the world are benefiting from stem cells. Treatments for cerebral palsy, multiple sclerosis, leukemia, spinal injuries, diabetes, and heart disease are already available and changing lives. With more new scientific breakthroughs on the horizon, stem cells are promising to revolutionize 21st century medicine, just as antibiotics did in the 20th.